The overall goal of this procedure is to use yeast cells to find the biological processes targeted by a chemical of interest. This is accomplished by first determining the dose-response profile of a chemical for yeast. The second step is to grow a complete collection of yeast gene knockout strains on a sublethal dose of chemical and on a control plate. Next, yeast mutants that are hypersensitive to the chemical are identified. This list is bioinformatically analyzed to reveal all genes needed to tolerate the chemical. The final step is to perform a biological replicate of the experiment in low throughput. This validates any chemical gene interactions found. Ultimately, this high throughput chemical genetic screening method is used to show which gene products and biological pathways are used to tolerate the chemical of interest. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods such as competitive growth of barcoded mutants in liquid culture is that no molecular biology techniques are required. This method can help answer key questions in the field of chemical biology, such as how a novel small molecule can inhibit the growth of eukaryotic cells. To begin, prepare an overnight yeast culture by streaking out BY4741 cells on a YEPD plate and incubate for 48 hours at 30 degrees Celsius or until visible colonies form. When the colonies are ready, prepare overnight liquid cultures by picking a single colony and inoculating 5 milliliters of YEPD liquid media in a sterile vessel. Then, incubate overnight at 30 degrees Celsius with continuous rotation.